some of your earliest memories of music? My earliest memories of music is really just um, playing instruments, making them songs with my uh, older and younger siblings, different time frames uh, with my older brother. We would make a lot of noise. I had a Tiny Tots upright piano, which I still had, and my brother had, um, he had the drums and guitar and bass. And we both had high voices and we would just mock what we saw at church. <laughs> so, and then when my sister came along, it was her turn to share her musical creativity with me um she actually would make up songs to uh the demos on my keyboard and then we would actually make up other songs that didn't even have actual words <laughs> really goofy goofy kids but that was pretty much what we did until we um got a little more sense <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about your musical background as far as uh musical background both sides of my family actually um, are musically inclined. My father actually has written quite a few gospel songs for quartet groups that he's been a part of over the years. And my mother actually wrote poetry and she actually sings in a quartet gospel group currently. Um, no, I'm not in any type of quartet group right now. <laughs> But um, also, um, I started out in poetry, and that, you know, bloomed into songwriting slash ghostwriting when I got older, and ghostwriting helped me to become a singer-songwriter and a composer. So that's pretty much, in a nutshell, how I got to where I am now with the guitar. What type of songs inspire you? Usually the songs that inspire me are raw vocals not necessarily um retouched or auto-tuned or sounding overly perfect um i just like you know voices like aretha franklin or um amos lee anyone you know so any one with a voice like that with just minimal music those are the type of songs that inspire me right now are you currently working on an ep an album working on an ep um i just released the first single from it uh patience which was unplanned however it is um a raw vocal and uh, acoustic track so i have to do what i'm inspired by and um just letting my fans know to be patient the song is called patient just let them know to be patient and that the music is coming so yes the ep is coming it might be an album it might not be but it'll be an ep longer than four tracks but it might not make it to a full album length um but it could if i add uh, some bonus tracks so we'll see we'll see not making any promises we talked about what kind of songs inspire you but who are some of the musicians that have inspired you over the years my musical influences, uh, it's, a, it's very broad. <laughs> um, musically straightforward, it would be people like Feist, Amos Lee, who I mentioned before, Marvin Gaye, Al Green, you know, the Isley Brothers, just, just good funk good rock from the 70s anything that doesn't sound robotic and is classical those those are really my influences i can go on for days but i know we have a time so <laughs> but those are a few of my musical uh, influences what are your goals moving forward songwriting and composing for other artists also uh scoring which is my ultimate goal so i see myself moving forward to those things of course i will always perform um just um not necessarily low-key i'm just not looking for um any type of pandemonium type of <laughs> thing um it's good to have a great crowd base but i i i do want to feel normal <laughs> that i do 
is there something you enjoy outside of music that fans might not know about? Outside of music, I do enjoy nature. Um, nature is my church. I love bike riding. I love going to the beach. I love traveling in general, which um, I do, of course, um, when I'm touring. Excuse me. Um, I love taking scenic photography, uh, still life photography. I do graphic design sometimes, um, but sometimes it's related to music. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I love sports. I've, I've gotten into new things like kayaking and sorts, um, you know, stuff that is totally not related to music and where I can unwind and relax and, and be free. If you could share the stage with any performer, past or present, who would that be? If I could share the stage with anyone from the past or present, it would definitely be Lauren Hill. I'm just going to be honest. Um, since we're only picking one, I would say Lauren Hill. If I could have two people at one time on the stage, it would be the other person would be Erica Badu. I would love to rock the stage with her. She's she's pretty awesome on stage. <laughs> what is the best place to keep up on your music and everything you have going on? And the best place for um anybody to find me, my fans, potential fans, um, online would be shakismalik.com. That's C H A Q U I S M A L I Q dot com. And that name is everywhere for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, where else? Uh, SoundCloud, you name it. You Shakis Malik, and, and I'm there. I'll spell it again for you C H A Q U I S M A L I Q. Did you have any final thoughts for everyone before we go? And uh, I just want to thank you, John, for having me interview with you and i hope we can do it again and thank you for sharing my music and being interested in my art and i hope we can do this again thank you